I'm slowly concluding the animation section because I believe you've learned the basics about animation and it doesn't matter if you are still not familiar with, with all those options, you are supposed only to like learn the essentials that something like this is happening here and those are the tools that you are working with. The last thing I wanted to show you is advanced because um, some animations, like most of them, you can double click on the animation, you can click on the effect and you can adjust the effect a little bit. Here on the zoom animation, well, you can only object center and slide center um, select like the vanishing point. But for example, if we have, let's select a fly-in. You see, this is a pretty normal boring fly-in. Let me extend it a bit, but I can double click on it. I can select effect and apart from changing the direction which you already know I can smooth the start smooth the end or make it bounce a little bit so depending on what we want if you smooth the end it will start to quickly enter the scene and then slowly smooth out let me show you you see it enters and then it smooths at the end this is very beautiful you can also double click effect and instead of that, it's a bit bad that you cannot like change the interpolation of the animation like manually to everything. Like you can in other animation softwares, which you can keyframe and you can give it both a smooth end and a bounce, but it doesn't matter. Let's show you the bounce. For example, here I can also use the bounce. And at the end, it bounces a little night. And this is so much nicer than a normal stale fly-in animation. Boop. This is very like mechanical and here if you change it it's it's smooth it's it's like it gets a bit more life well it can't be as quick play from you see very beautiful it is so much better when you have an animation like that all right this is when it comes to the advanced animations in my other courses and in my full animation courses and kinetic typography course i'm talking a lot more about what can be done with text, what can be done with the advanced animation options. Uh, this would be too much information right now for a person who is just starting with PowerPoint and exploring the options, but you need to be wary that something like this is possible. And also if you watch other animations and you might imagine, <laughs> could I do this in PowerPoint? You will now start to know a little more that maybe the bounce maybe the smooth and something like that is possible and that's great information in my opinion that's like i know several years ago i didn't know that something like that uh, would be possible with powerpoint then i started to work with those animations and they are quite quite powerful when it comes to to their options okay this like comes together into a small conclusion of this section and i'll try to create a really nice animation with you later on and we will see how that goes okay train this yourself double click on any of those animations and just see if there is an effect and you can for example use dimming but not all of those animations have their custom effects but some do as you can see sometimes we can get a little smooth out of it okay test it out and we'll see each other in the next lecture